This video is meant to give you a quick overview of the Wave Glider Management System, also known as WGMS. To start, you go to WGMS.com and log into your organization. Once logged in, I'll enter the piloting area to see my gliders in the water. You may notice throughout the video that I jump forward in time. This is because it can take minutes for commands to be sent, received, and to see resulting actions of the wave glider. I cut out dead time for the purposes of this demo. Now that I am logged in, I will select the wave glider to command. In this case, it will be SV3-009. WGMS will then take me directly to the wave glider. It is represented by the trail of markers as you can see in the ocean. The markers are locations the wave glider has reported in the last hour. The first thing I'll show you is how to turn on some of the different map options. Right now I'm going to turn on some additional piloting windows, surface currents, and other AIS targets. The numbered flags on the map are waypoints that can be pre-programmed into courses for the wave glider to swim through. Right now it is in Hawaii, swimming back to our test facility. As you can see, there is a surface currents layer on the map now. This helps manage drift when piloting the glider. There are also additional piloting tools in the transparent window on the left and one other ship hidden in waypoints that can be seen from the red vector on the map. I can also pan around the map just like other familiar mapping tools and then click the home button to recenter onto the wave glider that I'm piloting. Now I'm going to remove the currents layer and replace it with a NOAA nautical chart. I must refresh the page for my changes to take effect. Now instead of the Google map tiles, it is replaced with a NOAA map with bathymetric measurements on it. You can see the water is about 350 fathoms where the wave glider is. I can also easily take distance measurements on the map. If I make the measurement, the wave glider is just under 12 kilometers from shore. Now I'll clear the measurement. Right now I'm going to change the direction of the glider so it is pointed towards the shore so I can take a picture. You can see at the bottom of the screen is a log of communications from and commands sent to the wave glider. This is where most of the cuts are made as it can take several minutes for commands to go back and forth since it is using satellite transmissions. Now the wave glider is directed towards the shore as you can see from the direction change of the markers. So I will use the SV3 commands button to take a picture. I will set the scaling factor to 4 so I don't get a full resolution image and then command it to take the picture. You can see the sent commands in the logs at the bottom. Once again we will jump forward to receiving the picture. To find the image you go into the attachments tab in the glider configuration window. I will open the image in my browser and zoom in. You can barely see the island in the distance over the huge swells that it is in. Now I will return the vehicle to its original heading so it can continue on its transit and then I will log out. Thanks so much for watching the Wave Glider Management System demo video.